welcome at Floating Farm in Rotterdam. My name is Minke van Wingerden and together with Peter, my husband, we are the founders of the Floating Farm. Why a floating farm on the water? Because on the water you are what we call climate adaptive. You go up and down with the tide. So here in the port we go up and down with the tide for two meters. Even if there is a flooding or even if it is dry, you always can keep on producing fresh, healthy food. And uh, that will be the thing in the future because we have to deal with floodings, but also with dry periods. So that is why flooding, that is one. But the other one is when you are flooding, you can produce close to the city. So in that way, you can avoid transport. So it's about avoiding transport, it's climate adaptive, and also it's about creating awareness. City dwellers, they have no clue where food comes from or where milk comes from. And now they can see, I always say how much love and energy a farmer needs to give to his cows before consumers can drink a glass of milk. And that helps consumers to create more awareness and make them aware that that glass of milk has a lot of value. Animal welfare is topic number one. If our cows are not doing well, we can close the farm, of course. That is why we also, like all other farms, are under strict regulations. And we like that because we have a very good communication with the vets. And they see how the cows are doing and they are doing very well. They are happy, their fur is shiny, they have shiny eyes, and the quality and the amount of milk is very good and very high. But that is the thing also what the milking robot, of course, measures. About farming in the city, how does it affect the processing of the food and also the distribution of the food? We bring all our milk products to the city by electric cars. And of course, then the chain and the distance is very small. That's one. And on the other hand, we produce very pure products. And what is really nice to see is that our consumers, they directly buy from our shop. How do the cows always stay in the farm, at the platform? No, they do not. Normally, they have free choice to go in or out. But if the land is too wet, they cannot go out. You can hear the manure robot. It goes around and it soaks up the manure. It brings it to the corner over there and there it drops down in the manure separator. And if you separate the manure within three hours, you have 60% less emission. So this is a very sustainable way of farming. And on the other hand, about the feed for the cows. Of course, a project like this, we would not buy soy from far away or corn from far away. And that is why we feed our cows partly with residual products from the city. So one of them is that there is a beer brewery next door. They brew delicious beer, but also what is left is the beer broth. And you can see it in the feed. Also, there are a lot of vegetables from the auction or the food bank. We had an issue with the beds of the cows. It was more or less made on wood, but the wood was very soon rotten. So we have learned from that. And now the beds are from concrete with rubber mats, and that works much better. We love to make another farm next to this farm with vertical farming. So producing vegetables and herbs. And that is why we already have now in the flotation device, a small installation of vertical farming to learn. Creating awareness and education in the city is really important. It's about transitions in the city, add some farming to the city, to make cities more livable and more self-resilient.